Nadia, hurry up. We're in trouble. What happened? You look upset. There's an unscheduled inspection. It's all the work of Yehor. What a vengeful guy. It's okay. Don't worry. We have a highly exemplary factory. I know. But this inspector's a real troublemaker. She's always searching. Uh, Alexandra! Well, what do you think of our... What do you think of our sorting shop? I'd like to take a look at your pastry shops. Yes, of course. Here. Come on in. Quickly change and bring me a robe. Okay. Our pastry shop is equipped with the most modern equipment. All safety measures and sanitary standards are met. We keep a close eye on this. What is this? It's expired. It should have been disposed of yesterday. Who was responsible for this? Okay. It's my fault. Well, in short, the factory will be fined. And if I find even one more violation, the production will shut down. Why did you shield me? Because I'm your boss, Vera. Thank you. I'm just raising my brother on my own. He got into a fight at school yesterday, so I just forgot I can't lose this job. No one will lose anything. Alexandra, we'll fix everything. Don't punish us so harshly. One mistake leads to another. Goodbye. Everyone has the right to make a mistake. It's crucial to correct it in time. We're ready to prove that we do not use expired products. It was an accident, and it will never happen again. But please. There are mistakes that cannot be corrected. Nadia, because of the instructor's mistake, they fell into a cliff. They're taking the bodies out now. Nadia, we still don't know anything yet. Mom, they're taking out the bodies. One climber survived and is being airlifted to a hospital. Is it Andre? It's still unknown. I'll be waiting for you at the hospital. Vera, I, I've been wanting to- What do you want? To tell me that you're also going to lose your job because of me? Can I help you somehow? How? My brother had a fight at school. He smashed his classmate's pricey phone and now we have to pay it back. And how if I get fired? I can- There's nothing you can do. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess I came at the wrong time. Dennis? Yeah? Can you help me? Urgent order for shipment. What's wrong with him? I don't know. Everyone has their own troubles. Dad, why did you come home so late last night? I stayed late at the restaurant. Who is Christina? She's my new friend. Don't you love mom anymore? My dear, I will always love her, but... Why do we need this Christina? Dad, we don't need her. Alia. Alia. That's it. Stop shedding tears. Come on. Pull yourself together. Breathe in and out, okay? Let's get back to work. What do you think? Is there a chance that the inspector will change her mind? <sighs> There's always a chance. So let's go to work. Come on, let's go. It's you? I don't take bribes. Principal, that's rare nowadays. Especially in such a structure. Compliments won't help either. I'm not here because of the fact. Your words today, you were not talking about the inspection. It's something personal. Nadia, if I'm not mistaken, 
The exit is where the entrance is. You were badly hurt, weren't you? Is that why you don't forgive mistakes? Yeah, I don't forgive. Not even myself. An innocent flirt. Just one night. I ruined my family. And here I am, alone. You can't make mistakes. Do you still love him? Your husband? Well, <laughs> he has a young wife. Two children. And I? I'm a downed pilot. No one wants a woman over 40. That's not true. Listen, I have a friend. He's strong, responsible, and romantic. Do you want me to set you up on a date tonight? You're not judging me? How can I judge a person who is sincerely sorry? You need to forgive yourself. I'm not ready. How long do you need to get out of this office and give yourself a chance to live? But I can't wear this. I don't even remember how... how it feels to go on a date. It's okay. You'll remember. We'll stop by the shops on the way. Timur is waiting for you at that table. Um, and... What if your future husband is waiting for you in this restaurant? Come on, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Alia, nobody will ever replace your mom. You've never lied to me before. Well, I didn't know how to tell you about her. But you're an adult. You have to be smarter. I have to. But we adults don't always succeed. I'll think it over. And I'll beat you. Just try it. <laughs> yeah. Alexandra, it's you. Hello. Hello, Nadia. Here, I've come to recheck you. To give you another chance. As you've seen, we do everything by the rules, only fresh products. Well done. <laughs> I've noted that. And there will be no fine? No. Thank you. Thanks to Nadia. She knows how to find the right key to people. We saw the sun rise today, in a hot air balloon. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what romance is. You know, no woman should forget about it. Have a nice day. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, let me walk you out. So you set her up with a man and we were forgiven a million dollar fine? I helped her meet a man and did it from the bottom of my heart. I didn't think your talent would be enough to save this factory. I can't believe you recognize that I have a talent. Definitely. A talent for interfering in people's lives. What if they don't succeed tomorrow? Do we have to wait for another inspection? Personally, I will wait for the wedding invitation. Are you mad because I arranged her personal life and not yours? Ah. 
Are we going to follow him all day? I'm late for my manicure. Have you forgotten why we're here? How many times have I asked you not to text me when Christina is with me? Come on, don't be mad, honey. Do you think your plan will work? Go ahead. Excuse me, I'm lost and can't find my way. Which way is Cosmonauts Avenue? Oh, you need to go onto the boulevard. There, turn right and turn There's a ahead. huge maze and I'm lost and can't get a taxi. Oh. What is it? Oh. Are you not feeling uh, well? Uh, I feel dizzy. Probably the weather. Do you need a doctor? I, no, I don't. Wait a minute, it'll be over soon. Listen, why don't I give you a ride? Oh. I, I would be very grateful to you. Yeah, let's go. Watch your step. You're Thanks. welcome. May I have some tea, please? There, beautiful stranger, you have touched my heart. Even through the screen, I can feel your charm. Your photo made me feel something inside. Am I being sentimental? Yes, I am, but I'm not afraid to open my heart to you. Angela, I'm pleased that such a lovely girl noticed me. So tell me about yourself. I love to travel. I can't sit still. The world is so boundless. I want to visit all the unknown corners of the world with you. Have you been to Kathmandu? A furious rhythm combined with traditions. The city is an anthill. You are both a part of the whole in a small grade of sand. You should definitely visit it. I will definitely do that. But for now, only outings with friends. Fishing is our favorite pastime. Fishing? We have so much in common. Maybe we can meet tonight? I'll be waiting for our meeting. Here you are. Thanks. Thank you for saving all of us. I don't even know what would I have done without Vera, this job. This is probably the third time you've thanked me. And you're glowing. As if you have a date. So, who with? You won't prove with Valera. I've already told you, I can't stop you from making mistakes. And you're never mistaken? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. My brother is completely out of control. He needs a man around and Valera. He's, he may be not the best, but he's strong. And he's good looking. Vera, do you want some advice? Choose a man with your heart and not your head. When you're responsible for another person, you have to think with your head. Are you trying to persuade me or yourself now? Thanks for your support. What are your plans for tonight? I found the perfect girl for you. She's smart, creative, and loves to travel. I don't have any plans. I look forward to getting to know this protege of yours. See you then. See you.
So I'm wondering where my fiancé is. Is she late? No, she was pulling the wool over my eyes. I didn't even recognize you, Angela. How did you know? Intuition. And if you knew all along, what are we doing here? Wait, wait, wait. You decided to set us up on a date? I'm not sure how you're going to take this, but we're not good for each other. So there will be no date? Why not? There will be. Let's go. Where? To meet your destiny. What's your middle name? Alexievich. Is this a cult? No, it's speed dating. You'll have 15 dates in one night. Adios, I'm going home. Refusing to date is a defeat. So technically, if you leave, I'm the chief pastry chef. Okay. But you're coming with me, because an unmarried matchmaker is somehow dishonorable. You'll scare away all the clients. I would love to. Petrova, right? Petrova. I'll do it. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. You will have five minutes to talk to each participant. The men will move on my command. Everyone, have a nice evening. Hello. Nadia. I'm Constantine. A pathologist. That's a difficult profession. Not everyone dares to choose it. You are the first one who isn't scared. Usually the conversation doesn't go on. Well, people are afraid of what they don't understand. Do you usually attend these things? My third time now. Hmm. Didn't it work out the first time? You know, I believe that there is no need to rush into love affairs. Well, you're right. We need to take a closer look. I know what you mean. Tell me, what else inspires you in life? Well, I love jazz. Jazz? I'll tell you a secret. Girls love men who are into music. You should start the conversation with jazz. Hmm? I wonder, what exactly do you look for in your chosen one? The chosen one should not run after men, should cook borscht and darn <laughs> socks. Do you know how to cook? Mm, no. So a couch potato? Tomorrow. Do you believe in aliens? What? Aliens. No. Why not? When I was six, they kidnapped me, but I escaped from them. How? I don't know. I don't know. They erased my memory. I work as a firefighter. Just the other day, I carried a child out of a burning fire in my arms. What a twist. And how many women fall for it? What do you mean? Firefighters have scars from fire. You don't. And if you offend at least one woman here, I will find you. Moreover, I know a pathologist. Hmm? But now they are constantly watching me. Even now. Don't turn around. Is origami your hobby? Well, not really. I'm a pediatrician. Many children are afraid of doctors. So I came up with the idea of making all kinds of animals out of paper to cheer them up. It's for you. It's pretty, thank you. Who's this? M my coach. She teaches me to be relaxed. To adapt to men. Don't ever do that. You have to be real. 
Ugh, I'm starting to quote her. She just got into my head. Who? You're romantic. Yes, if a girl inspires me. And you inspire me, Nadia. That's Nadia. An annoying young lady who tries to arrange my personal life. We work together. She's a pastry chef, and I'm a pastry chef. Only I look for new forms, and she makes classic, ordinary cakes. But there's some kind of magic in her. Okay. So, how's it going? Boring. And I realized how you figured out Angela. Fishing? Why did you decide not to put that in the profile? You interrupted the conversation about it. I didn't want anyone to bring it up. The topic of my father isn't easy for me. When I was a child, we often went fishing with him and with my brother. And my father was a sailor. And no one will ever be able to tell about traveling like him. So that's where your love for regattas comes from, right? He taught me everything. And when he passed away, I started fishing alone. But I'm not that good at fishing. Why not your brother? We have different interests. You have five minutes. Thank you for your time. Get to the point. Mr. Boris, I never cheated on your daughter. It's true. I just wanted Christina to be a little jealous of me, and as a result, I fell into a trap. We're all in one group. A musician, a pastry chef, and... By the way, that girl. They planned everything so carefully to defame me. And to ruin our wedding. They want to fool Christina to get your money. Send me this photo. Mm. I love your daughter. I want to be with her. Please, help me. You're free. Dear guest of our club, the first part of the evening is over. You can continue your socializing on our dance floor. I've had enough. We're leaving. Victor! Where are you going? We're not letting you go anywhere. And you haven't told me this is a recipe yet. The first dance is mine. Excuse me, pardon me. Hello. What are you doing here? Uh, is it a party? We'll have company? This is Pasha's friend. He's leaving already. Yeah. Ah. Come on in. A phone. You don't have to feel sorry for me, okay? I can handle everything on my own. You're uh, I. What else? Have a nice evening. Valero, wait. I made dinner. Later, everything later. How long has it been since we've seen each other? Three weeks? Three months, Valera. All the more reason. So why put it off? Hold on. My brother will be here soon. What do you mean? I thought we were going to spend the evening alone. And you took care of everything. I wanted to introduce you. Don't you think you should have warned me in advance? I didn't come here to meet your brother. Okay. Let's be quick then. Valera.
You'd better leave. I may not call you again. Do me the favor. I must say, you're getting rid of your competitors in a very creative way. What are you doing here? I decided to escape from those predators. It's all for your own good. By the way, did you know the history of this fountain? It said that Arthur Perry invented his famous dessert here. No, I didn't know. Enjoy your walk. I'll walk you home. By the way, this Oleg from Speed Dating asked me for your number. And so? So I decided not to give it to him without your consent. Thank you for that. Don't you want to continue with him? It seems to me that you two are the perfect match. Let me remind you that I am the matchmaker here. Come on, what kind of matchmaker are you? You don't even have a man. Why do you say that? I have a beloved man. How does he feel about your matchmaking? He's great. That's a lie. You don't have one. Why do you think that? Your eyes aren't shining. You're imagining things. Will you introduce me to him? I don't take my work home. Oh, where's your guy? He's not coming, so we'll have dinner by ourselves. I'm not hungry. I'm going to play soccer with the guys. And homework? It'll wait. No, you're not going anywhere. You're always outside or playing your PlayStation. You should be thinking about school. I've barely solved the problem with the phone. I'll be back in an hour, maybe two. My love, I can't forget you. Your lips, your eyes, your warmth. You blame me for everything. Yes, I'm guilty. And I'm willing to beg for your forgiveness for the rest of my life. I made a mistake, but I never stopped loving you. You can't just erase our ten years. Are you looking for a replacement here? Or maybe you've already found one. Every day since you've left, I've been waiting for you. You are running away from me, but I am your shadow. I will follow you everywhere, because I am in your heart. Christina, we need to talk. Dad, I have a solfage lesson. I have to go. It's your evenings that excite me. This musician. Dad, have you forgotten how old I am? I'll decide who I want to date. But you don't know him at all. Besides, he's not from our circle. It's you who doesn't know him. And not everything is measured by money. Love definitely is not. She's already half an hour late. She must have seen me, got scared, and ran away. No, she'll come. She'll definitely come. Well? By the way, I also have a surprise for you. Yeah? What is it? I didn't give him your number, but I told him where to find you. Today we'll have a double date. Ta-da! How do you like that? Hello. Mmm. My favorite.
What are you doing here? Thank you for answering my message. I didn't expect to reach you. What message? I've been waiting for this for so long. This is some kind of mistake. I love you. Do you? <gasps> Look at that. What a show. Shame. Victor, wait. Hold on, please. I warned you. I told you to stay out of it. You two need to talk. Do we need to? Didn't you forget to ask me? But she loves you. She slept with my brother. Is that what you do when you love someone? No more dates. You have no idea how much pain I've been through. Misha! Misha! Where is he? Is he alive? Say something! Nadia, wait. It's not him. <laughs> Why? Why is it not hungry? <laughs> Boris Olkovsky, Christina's father. I'm glad to meet you. I'm Misha. How much do you want to leave my daughter alone? I don't understand you. What part of my question do you find unclear? Tell me the amount. I want to be with Christina. I don't need your money. You don't want to resolve the issue in a good way. So, we'll resolve it in my way. For the musical accompaniments. Girls, have you seen Victor? I've been looking for him. Don't you know what happened? What should I know? Victor is now our YouTube star. His five-tiered cake fell apart on the diplomat's anniversary. The guest filmed it and posted it on the internet. With a factory hashtag, Mr. Gorilla was angry this morning. And we told Victor that this would happen, but he didn't listen to us. He was working at Le Cordon Bleu, and we are peasants. You know, I've already asked to be transferred back to his fortune area. Girls, wait. Don't leave him. I know he's not a gift, but he's a good man, really. You have so many orders, how will he cope on his own? I didn't want to go, but you forced me to go. Nadia, good things come in small packages. I have to apologize. I will help you with your orders. Not your problem. I don't want to hear anything from you, or about you. Just get out of my life. Nadia. Nadia, congratulations. You're the chief pastry chef. And Victor? I'm going to write an order to fire him. This French star has crossed the line. The staff is complaining. He's rude and he makes a mockery of the factory. Mr. Krilo, I have never asked for anything, but now I am begging you. Please give him one more chance. His job is the only thing he has left. All right. I'll give him one last chance. But he's your responsibility. Thank you. I'm sorry I didn't answer you right away. If you need a friend, I'm here for you. We're separated by hundreds of kilometers. But what is distance? You asked me if I had been betrayed. Did I feel so much pain that I was torn from the inside? When you desperately swallow the air and it just eats away at you even more? When the ground is slipping away from under your feet? Yes. I was betrayed. 
thank you. Let's do this quietly. Take out your wallet. Or what? Are you tired of living? I can ask you the same question. Are you fucking crazy? Hey, what happened there? Eh, ask them about it. Stop. Stop, freeze. Go to hell. Lie down for a while. That's it, that's it. Are you okay? Yeah, they just fired me. And now they don't want to hire me in other restaurants. But don't worry, I can handle it. It's my dad, I'll talk to him. No, you don't have to. I'll handle this on my own. If I need to prove to your father that I love you, I'm ready. Let's go. Where? To my place. Oh no, you know, it's kind of awkward. I will not hide you from my daughter. Let's go. Let's go. Hello? Hello, Victor. No, this is Major Reznichenko. Your Victor is in a temporary detention center. Why? What happened? Detained for misbehavior. Fight. You know, Christina, you're not that pretty. Alia, why are you doing this? You taught me to tell the truth. Am I supposed to lie? I've never considered myself beautiful. An ugly duckling. I also loved playing the piano and reading encyclopedias. My mom would bring them to me when she returned from a business trip. Encyclopedias? Mm-hmm. Alia is a huge fan of encyclopedias. We don't know where to put them anymore. Will you show them to Christina? Why? Uh, okay. Next time. I hope there won't be a next time. And that. Tell your friend not to stay too long. This is indecent. I'm going to bed. I have a schedule, you know? Alia. Don't. Don't worry, she's just jealous over you. She needs some time. You're right. I rely on you very much. There's no personal life with this work. I can imagine. <laughs> Only whores around. Here is your Orlov. Take him. Let's go. Ugh, what are you doing here? I came to help you. Thank you, but I didn't ask for your help. I'll take you home. Listen, I'm confused. Are you a matchmaker or Mother Teresa? Leave me alone. Getting drunk in a bar is not an option. You're responsible to the factory in case you forgot. I can handle this myself. How much do I owe you for your services? Sit down. You're a good actress. Well, just great. A psychologist, a fine manipulator, that's how you decided to get rid of your competitor, isn't it? What do you mean? I know everything. I know that there was an order to fire me. That Mr. Carrillo defended me. He decided to give me a second chance. So? It didn't work, did it? The plan failed? I had nothing to do with that at all. Oh, come on. What did you say to me when we first met? That... We are family, even if we are competitors. It's lovely. Only in reality, you were afraid that you wouldn't get a promotion. Made up this stupid argument. Dragged me into it. 
and brought my ex to me? You've knocked the ground out from under my feet. You know, it worked. That's not true. But it is true. My biggest regret is that I believed in your sincerity. And I was wrong again. I was wrong about you. Tomorrow you'll be ashamed of those words. I'll become the chief pastry chef, and you'll spend the rest of your life making wedding cakes. Empty and fake, just like you. Is that really what you think of me? I don't want to think about anyone at all. Did you meet him? Good evening to you too, Dad. Have you decided to make him wander the world? Put him out of work? Well, love makes cottage a castle, doesn't it? You should be ashamed. Look, who should be ashamed? Alina, I'm sorry that you, like me, have become a victim of betrayal. Now you are the only person who will understand me. I am at the bottom. I want to push myself up and rise to the surface. But the quagmire of memories pulls me in more and more. These wounds will not heal soon. Even when the scars are no longer visible, the pain haunts us. No one knows or sees how difficult it is for us. But we try to smile again, and we just have to learn to live with it. How? How do you learn to live with the betrayal of two of your closest people? Live through the pain. Don't run away from it. Have you been able to believe again? Hello, babe. I missed you so much. Are you real? What? Well, of course I'm real. What else could I be? Oh, you must have been sleeping. I woke you up. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so tired from the road. Do we have anything to eat? You should have seen the beauty there. We climbed to the very top. I... <sighs> I took so many photos. But just imagine, Vitaly broke my camera. Oh, I'm sorry. Vitaly just texted me. He said that I forgot some documents at his place. Well, I'll have to go by tomorrow to pick them up. Hmm. <gasps> I forgot! I bought you a present. What is it? Here's the gift. 
is nothing serious. Just a small fling and that's it. Tally is dead. So is Ehor. What? Call your mom. She thinks you're dead. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll fix everything. No, you can't. You died for me. Three days ago. Losing your beloved husband, getting him back again only to find out about the betrayal. Well, Lena, you are strong. And he's a scumbag. I would have hit him if I had met him. He started an affair with the daughter of the owner of the football club where he worked as an assistant coach. He crossed out everything we had built. Maybe it was just me. And my wife cheated on me with my brother. I found out about their affair from a social media chat and about her abortion. She didn't know whose child it was, so she decided not to have it. She didn't want to lose me, but it could have been my child. I'm so sorry. I would have loved the baby. I couldn't tell anyone the truth. You're the first person I've poured my heart out to. I need you, Olina. Don't disappear. I'm here. <laughs>